Marvel Studios is already working on Fantastic Four, which of course we know will kick off Phase 6 at the end of 2024. So let's talk about who could potentially be the villain of that film, and what exactly does it mean for Phase 6 and also Phase 5. So I know automatically everybody is going to say, well, isn't it obvious who the villain is? It has to be Doctor Doom. And while, yes, eventually they have to face each other, hear me out. If Doctor Doom is the villain of Fantastic Four, we automatically devalue Doctor Doom to be a Fantastic Four villain once again. And once again, our fourth attempt at Fantastic Four sees Doctor Doom get wasted, literally, by the heroes, but also by being just centered as their villain. Because every film so far, including the Corman 90s version, included Doctor Doom. I think we need to get away from that. Doctor Doom has to be a bigger threat to the Marvel Universe. He has to be a bigger overarching villain, whether it's just the street-level side of things that he's going to be involved with, or, as is my theory, he'll be revealed to be somehow involved heavily with Secret Wars, I think, at best, Doctor Doom has to be pulling the strings for whoever is the villain of the Fantastic Four film. So here's my first choice, and it's the obvious one, and I hope it's this one. Just do Mole Man. It's a simple story. It grounds the Fantastic Four. They don't have to overblow the explanation of anything, really. The Fantastic Four are already not going to have an origin. So then you can focus on them and the family dynamic and how their whole shtick is being interrupted by Mole Man suddenly coming through the streets of New York and them having to answer the call to stop him. Again, you could involve the Baxter building, some sort of experiment. A reason that he's going after them could be a little bit more personal. And the fact that he's not really out there in terms of you know, popularity or anything like that, I think he fits a bill for a first villain, so you're not wasting some of the bigger names out there for subsequent sequels and, well, other films. Going off of that, you could do Super Scrawl, and I honestly think that you could build this villain up just enough, and the idea of him in Secret Invasion, that when it comes to the Fantastic Four, they have to deal with him. And again, Super Scrawl was always owned by Fox, even though Marvel Studios and Disney owned the Scrawls. So now that you got him, you can use him. His connection to the Fantastic Four is right there. It's an easy way to play around with the powers and everything and really try to explain the Fantastic Four as a team that overcomes, well, everything that's being thrown at them. And last but not least, Annihilus. I personally think Annihilus could be a little bit of a bigger threat, but again, we don't know what the plan could be, and you could retrofit Annihilus to be somebody that's sent out by Kang, and again, you then tie it to the Kang dynasty, and obviously one future version of Kang is a descendant of Reed Richards, so you have a personal story. You put Annihilus sort of retrofitted again, like Ultron, to be a little bit more connected to the Richards family, and I think you have a pretty good villain that also takes them from the planet out into space and has them interact with some more of the uh, cosmic elements. But again, I think that might be a little too much for their first outing. Again, that's just my opinion, which is why I would really like to see Mole Man. But again, it's all down to Marvel Studios and what the ultimate goal is. So what do you guys think? Who would you like to see as the main villain? Do you think that it will be Doctor Doom? Do you think instead of Doom, they could possibly do Kang and get us another variant, which honestly might get a little out of hand if every single film is going to have a Kang variant as a villain? But they could legit do it because it's just, well, variants. So what do you guys think and which direction do you think they're going to go in?